Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to create silhouettes. So I have uh, three images in here, and uh, one is already masked. The other two are not masked, so I kind of want to go through the masking process one more time. So uh, if we were going to turn some of these images into silhouettes, for example, the girl here, if I basically use the quick selection tool as I drag in, uh, you know, the selection works pretty good overall. Again, uh, quick selection works with hard edges, so if there is a a crisp edge against the form of whatever it is that you're trying to select, you or shape, you, just, you will basically receive a uh, better selection. And typically, if you use a smaller brush in the beginning, it tends to work a little bit better. So I'm just kind of clicking in here and dragging in. It looks like I'm not going to get that center in there. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option to try and subtract in between. And that doesn't seem to be quite working exactly. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause while I clean up this mask a little bit. If I hit Q for Quick Mask, we saw how to do Quick Mask in the previous tutorial. So I'm just going to pause for a second while I clean this up. All right, as you can see here, this uh, selection has been cleaned up pretty well. Again, through Quick Mask. So what I'm going to do is click on the square circle. And now we have a mask figure pretty well. It looks like I did miss a couple of areas. So again, with Quick Mask, you can always go in and pan it out in the mask, the layer mask, which is good. So it's going to paint out this little bit here and this little bit here. It was a kind of a light image, so it was a little harder to see uh, the mask itself, and especially the pink dress or skirt here. So it seemed a little bit more difficult to see. So that's working out pretty good. So this image here. I believe instead of the quick selection, we'll use the magic wand to select the background. And that seems to be doing a pretty good job. And then we'll hold the shift key. And the reason why this is working out better is because uh, magic wand tends to work well with luminance levels and color. So if we have similar colors, and that looks really good there. So if I hit Q, we can see clearly the bird's uh, pretty much not selected. So it's the opposite. Again, anytime I want to select the opposite, go to select inverse. Or you can use that hot key of holding out an alt or option and click on the square circle to create the mask. So we have three images that I want to combine together into one. And I could choose, you know, a new document to do this in, but I think I will go ahead and use this one here, just because this one already has enough space here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer, drag it below, and I'm just gonna paint in with a paint bucket at the D key and hit X so I just have white as the background just so we have uh, a nice solid white to look at. So um, with this image here what I want to do is now convert her into a silhouette. So there's lots of different ways you could go about this. You could uh, for example I'm going to duplicate the layer here click OK. I could um, right click and apply my layer mask and now it's uh, essentially an image here that I could select. I can now control click just that selection and I could paint it in on this individual layer. So if I want to do that, I could just hit the B key, uh, increase the size of my brush, um, hit the X key, make sure black is my foreground color and literally paint and destroy this image basically and make it into a permanent silhouette. So that's one way. Uh, we'll do some other ways here. So with the bird here, uh, I'll go ahead and duplicate the layer again. I like to do this because I like to preserve the original. So I'm going to turn off the bottom one here. Right click, I'll go ahead and apply layer mask, but this time I'm going to control click or command click uh, the thumbnail. This time I'm going to go ahead and select a new layer. And on that new layer, I'm going to go ahead and paint in black. So that's another way. <laughs> I could use a paintbrush or since it is its own layer, I can simply use the paint bucket and literally click once and it will basically fill in that whole area. So uh, that works out really well. The third option in terms of creating silhouettes for this example here, if I right click, duplicate layer, click OK, um, is that I could turn off this one and go ahead and apply that layer mask, is I could use something like a levels adjustment and clip it, click on the little icon here, and just basically bring in the black slider until it's completely black. Uh, however, with this option, you'll notice that certain areas you're getting some weird artifacts and, you know, it's not completely becoming a true silhouette. So this option really isn't a perfect option here, as you can see. 
So we're, instead we're going to control or command click the selection and uh, for this one we're actually going to paint instead of black we're going to paint with white because there are such things as white silhouettes which would be kind of interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and reselect this layer here and go ahead and paint the whole thing white here and then hit control D. Now let's move some of these images. So I'm going to right click duplicate layer and I'm going to send this over to I believe it's this one here. Click OK. Yeah, that's correct. It's in this image. Now it's hard to tell where it's at because it is on white. So it's kind of interesting. But here is this sort of fire hydrant thing that's sticking out. Uh, it would probably work better as a white as a black silhouette. So I'm actually going to uh, do something else. I'm going to right click on it. And or actually, no, I'm going to double click on the layer and bring up the layer styles menu, which did pop up my other menu. Here's another way to add a silhouette. I'm actually going to do color overlay and then just choose black. So I'm going to click on the color picker here, which also opened up my other monitor. Drag to black, click OK, and leave it at normal, 100%, and click OK. So we got the fire hydrant, we got the grill here, and now let's go over to the bird here. So maybe with the bird, we'll uh, bring it over. Right click, duplicate layer, send it over, and this way, click OK. Here's the bird, and maybe in this instance, what we'll do is we'll make some duplicate copies of this. First, it's rather large, the bird. So I'm going to hit Control T or Command T and hold the Shift key and grab a corner here to scale it down a little bit. And I'm going to keep the original a little big here. I'm going to go ahead and click Return. But then I'm going to duplicate some copies of this just by holding an Alt or Option on the image to make a copy. And with that copy, I'm going to scale it down. So I'm going to hit Control T or Command T on the Mac, scale it down quite a bit. I kind of want to fit inside the figure to some degree. Something like that would be kind of cool. And what I want to do is control click that thumbnail. So we're going to do this interesting way. We're going to go ahead and paint the bird black like it is here. Uh, or actually, we're going to paint this white. We're going to paint this white here, this layer. So like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer on top. And then we're going to control and all option click the uh, the figure here what that'll do when you control option it'll basically d it'll uh, subtract the uh, where they two images don't overlap which means that the tails here so I'm gonna hit the X key and basically print that in black so you get this kind of effect here and then hit control D to deselect and now I can repeat this action with another bird so I have the original bird here again I'm going to hold Alt or Option, drag it. Uh, I'm going to hit Control T or Command T. Right click. This time I'm going to flip horizontal just to make it more interesting. I'm going to scale it down a little bit, but not quite as big as, as the other one. And then I'll hit Return. Let me zoom in here. And so we're going to go through this process again because I think I went a little fast last time. So again, I'm going to Control click or Command click on the thumbnail of the bird. And I'm going to paint that on all white. So I'm going to hit the X key, paint it all white. It's still selected here, and I'm going to add a new layer above it. So while it's still selected, I'm going to go down to the figure, and I'm going to hold Control or Command with Alt or Option. What that'll do is it'll deselect the figure and the bird and leave the wings uh, selected. So Control Option or, or I'm sorry, Command Option or Control Alt on a PC, and just like that, you can see the wings are selected. Now I can hit the X key and paint with black. So and then hit Control D. So you can see how cool and easy it is to make this interesting silhouette where you have um, almost like a, a you know this negative positive aspect of this figure here. So I'm going to do it with another one. Hold Alt or Option and drag, make a copy. Control T or Command T. Right click, flip horizontal. Nah, maybe this time I'll leave it alone. I'll go ahead and scale it down quite a bit. This one maybe I'll have up in the, the head here region. And again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Go after I hit return. Hit control plus a couple times. This time again, control or command click on the thumbnail. Hit B for brush. Paint in all white. All right. 
still selected I haven't deselected I add a new layer that's really important scroll down to the figure and then again hold control and alt for the PC or command and option for the Mac which deselects the figure essentially and then now hit the X key and then pan black and check that out so it's a pretty cool effect you can make some really interesting silhouettes you can do this with text and images um, so have fun exploring silhouettes in Adobe Photoshop CC until next time cheers